Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, I will be talking about how you can install Python in my operating system. So in our previous videos, we already discussed about Windows, right? But today we'll talk about Mac and we will try to install Python first. Then we will also install PyCharm and we will try to run Python programs from the terminal and we will also try to run Python from the PyCharm as well. Okay. So just put mouse over on the downloads and you can see we have an option to download for Mac directly. In case this option is not coming for you or it is not able to detect your operating system, you can see this option, right? View the full list of downloads. The moment you click here, you will get this link and here you can download the Python for the different OS. Okay. You can see it showing for Windows, Unix, Mac and others. In case we are looking for a specific release, you can also see the different releases they have in case if you want the specific release you can go ahead and download right now at this moment i'm just going to download the latest one which is 3.8.5 you'll get this small 28 mb file it will take some time to download okay so file is already downloaded now let me double click and install this in my local system so you can see by default it is actually stopping it because of the security preferences so no problem click on ok go back to this uh, Apple icon click on the system preferences click on security and privacy click on open anyway and click on open and you can see the python installer started click on continue click on continue click on continue and you can see it says just accept the agreement click on agree now it says this much space is available okay which is fine but this software only need 116 mb which is very less click on continue and click on install now it is asking some password let me enter my system password which is this click on install software it will take few seconds and it will install python in your local system so you can see we got this python 3.8 the moment you expand this you can see we got idle which is ideally python editor we got python launcher and few additional files so don't worry we don't need all of them now now let me first of all check the terminal this is my terminal now let's do one thing let's cross verify let me open my terminal and see do we have python installed in our local system or not so i will just search for python space hyphen hyphen version okay so you can see even though we installed python 3.8.5 but when i say python version it says 2.7.10 so why this is happening let me show you first of all the official documentation the moment you go to the documentation part and just go to python docs and it will navigate to docs.python.org we just need to come back to this python setup and usage click on it the moment you come down you can see using python on mac so just click on getting and installing mac python so by default mac comes with python okay so you can see by default mac comes with python 2.7 pre-installed by apple so what we need to do uh, few people try to uninstall this but if you see the official documentation they highly recommend that you should never modify or delete this okay so what you can do let the older python be in your system you can continue with the new python that we installed so i already have 2.7 which is coming by default from apple but we have installed our python as well which is 3.8.5 so in case if you want to work with your custom python or the new python version that you downloaded you can continue with that do not modify or do not delete or try to uninstall the existing python because chances are very high apple might be using this older version of python for some other applications so if you try to uninstall this this might create a conflict or issue for a couple of existing applications so do not ever modify or delete the existing python so what we did right now we just installed 3.8.5 so what if i want to simply uh see the new python just say python 3 and hyphen hyphen version so you can see now i have two python installed in my local system one is python 2.7.10 another is python 3.8.5 which we downloaded just now okay so whenever you have to go with python 3 
just type python3 and you can run your python program now just type which python so you can see the existing python that we are using is available under usr local sorry usr bin ya yeah, python so let me just keep the path here and if i say which python 3 then i got the path here that the python 3 that we installed is available under this path okay so now let's verify what i will do i will just go to just click on this go item and you can see go to folder so first of all let's go to this path which is usr sorry yeah just go to usr bin python hit enter and you can see we got this bin folder where we have the older python which is python 2 fine now apart from python you also find some other binaries okay that we are using internally so i don't want to disturb them now let me open python 3 that we installed i will just say command c go to go uh, click on go to folders paste this and you will see we got python 3 right so this is where the python is installed in case if you want to play around with python anything you just need to come to this location and you can continue so you can see we also got pip 3 okay so whenever you have to install anything any external modules we will be using pip so whenever you have to use pip from python 3 we will be using pip 3 for example let's say let me clear this if i say python okay pip hit enter it is referring pip from python 2 so these options are coming from python 2 what if i want same from python 3 i will say pip 3 that's all so python python 3 pip and pip 3 let's say i want to install some external module which is not available in my system so i will say pip install selenium okay so it will try to install selenium now and you can see it is downloading the latest version of selenium and selenium is in our local system and now let me also configure pycharm with python 3 so let's open the pycharm i am assuming that you have already pycharm in your local system in case if you don't have then pycharm installation is very easy just go to uh, google search for pycharm download just navigate to their official site from JetBrains and you can download the pycharm for mac where you will get a small file you just need to install just like a normal software and it will get installed in your local system okay so right now you can see they have two uh, versions one is professional one is community click on the community and you can continue using it right now it's automatically detecting mac in case if it is not detecting just go to mac and download double click install and you will get this pycharm just like a normal software so let me start pycharm now you can see pycharm is up and running i already have pycharm installed in my system i already have a demo project one so it's loading by default in your case you will get a pop-up window where you can create a project from the scratch so let me create a fresh project process will be same so first of all it will ask you do you want to create project so i will create this project as youtube python tutorials okay now you can see here in case if you have two pythons one is python 2.7 and we have now 3.8.5 the moment you click here the interpreter project interpreter the base interpreter you can change it okay so you can see they have the multiple base uh, interpreter the one which we have to select which is the latest one which we did right now is from this okay now if you just cross check and verify this was the path right library framework python dot framework version 3.8 bin python 3 same thing you will you will find here so i just have to select this and i can continue in case if you select python 2 okay then definitely you have to go with python 2 and again there's a big difference between python 2 syntax versus python 3 syntax anyways python 2 is end of support already in 2020 it is no longer supported so it is actually i will say you will not get any enhancement but still it works if you want to work with python 2 
but as python suggests we need to continue with python 3 so we'll go with this and we can click on create it says open project yes i will say open in a new window it will take few seconds and your project will be ready okay so let's do one thing let's create one python program and let's see if it is working fine or not and if it is working then we can continue with the complete tutorial so right click create a new python file this python file i will say check demo one click on ok and we got this now let me just write print we got this auto suggestion let me just say hello right click run and we got the output and you can see by default it is taking 3.8 okay so it is referring to this in case if you want to change just go to interpreter settings and you can change the interpreter from here right now we just need uh, 3.8 which is already set we don't have to make any changes but yeah in case if you want here you can also do that so this is how we can set up python in mac and just to give you uh, my Pi, uh, mac version i'm using at the time of recording is 10.12.6 now what if I want to uninstall this again same process that what we did first of all we need to go and delete the python from this path okay because by default python will go and sit into this location so first of all close all the existing editor if in case if it is open then go to this particular location this is only for uninstalling in case if you don't want to uninstall you can skip this part but in case you want to uninstall uh, python 3.8 or the newer version just go to this location where python is installed click on go click on go to folder navigate till here and you can see we have our versions right so this is the one which we downloaded just now 3.8 so what i will do let me close this terminal and delete this it will ask the password just enter the password okay and it's done we don't have now 3.8 second thing that you need you need to also go to your applications and search for python you can see python 3.8 is already installed just right click and click on move to trash again it will ask you password and it is done okay so just delete from that location which is this we just deleted the home directory and then we delete it from the application and now let's do and let's see so now if i say python space hyphen hyphen version we got 2.7.10 fine now if i say python 3 space space hyphen hyphen version okay we don't have python 3 perfect what about pip 3 pip 3 is also not there if i say which python it is giving location of the existing python that we have which is 2.7.10 if i say which python 3 now it will not provide any location it means python 3 which we downloaded just now got uninstalled completely and now we can freshly start in case if you want to go with python 3 otherwise you can go with python 2. i hope this session was useful and i hope you are able to install python in your mac in case if you find any issue or any problem while installing python or pycharm in your mac let me know in the comment section and if you really like this video then please Subscribe to my channel if you are new, hit the like button, share with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.